My name is Sneed Collard, and I am the author of many, many books for kids. And today, I thought it would be fun to read aloud one of the books that I wrote, a book called Birds of Every Color. Before I do that, though, I want to introduce a very special guest who's with us today, and that is my dog, Lola. Let's see if we can find Lola here. Come here, Lola. Come here. Come here. Up, 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 up. We should give Lola a treat, don't you think we should? There we go. Oh, what a good girl. Can you say hi to all the kids up there? Yes, I think that will get you another treat. There we go. So, Lola is always happy to join in any kind of presentation like this. And so, um, with that out of the way, she is going to listen along with you guys to While I Read My Book. Before I want to tell you about this book, though, um, before I want to read it aloud, I want to tell you a few things about it. This is a book that was written by me, but all of the photographs in this book were taken by me and my son, Brayden. And to get the photographs for this book, we got to travel all over the world. We got to go to places like Texas and California and Arizona, but also overseas. We went to, recently we just got back from the Middle East, Israel and Jordan. Before that, we went to Peru and Ecuador a few years ago. Before that, we got to visit Taiwan. And so these photos come from many of the different places that we got to visit on our journey. So with that background information, let me read for you my book, my book, <laughs> my book, Birds of Every Color. Birds come feathered in every color. From cardinal reds to bluebird blues. To oriole oranges. And a thousand colors in between. Birds get colors from foods and make them on their own. Some colors are built into feathers and in this case, skin. Bird colors shout, choose me. This is my territory. And back away, I'm top bird. They help answer the questions, what do you want? Are you a boy or a girl? And are you mine? Colors can go big. Or barely peek out at all. They can shimmer and gleam like metal, especially if you're in the right place. Brown colors help birds hide. So do many greens. Whites, grays, and blacks, they can blend in too. Whichever colors birds come in, one thing is certain. Colors help birds survive. How many bird colors do you see? And the final pages in this book define some of those birdie words that are in the book, not only ones that I read aloud to you, but you'll notice that in this book there are two levels of information. We've got some big text up on top and some little text down on the bottom. Can you see that? Anyway, so I hope that you will 
take this book and enjoy it as much as you can, but also use it to learn more about birds because birds are one of the most accessible, amazing forms of wildlife on our planet. Thank you for joining me and Lola here today. We've had a great time with all of you, and I hope that you use this book not only to learn more about birds, but to go to your library and check out other books about all kinds of different things to read. Keep learning, keep birding. You know, we bird nerds have to stick together, and I hope to see you out there soon. If you'd like to find out more about birds of every color, you can check out the website of Bucking Horse Books, who publish birds of every color. You can also check out my website, www.sneedbecollardthethird.com, where you can learn more about not only my new books, but the different kinds of presentations that I give. And teachers and librarians, if you'd like to invite me to for an in-person school visit, you can find out a lot more information there, as well as how to contact me. Lastly, be sure to follow Braden's and my birding adventures on our blog site, fatherson.birding.com.